So look, bro. 60 days in. Y'all like these. I'm going to be real. One thing I want y'all to stop doing. I love y'all to death. And y'all know that shit. But uh, people that be stealing my content. Y'all got to stop recommending me. Look. Ghost. I recommend you react to him. Hey, Ghost. You should react to Whoopty Whoop. He doing this. I don't care about them niggas, bro. I'm being real with y'all. I don't care about none of these YouTubers like that. I'm just being real. Got this far without zero collabs at all. And I'm going to keep on going. This ain't no hate no, towards nobody, but I'd rather do this shit by myself. Especially when I when I go to his content, then I see he just start doing 60 days in like three weeks, a month ago. I'm like, hell no. Nah. It's my shit. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But look, we got another one right here. Um, I'd be on a toss-up about him because... Like, bro, I hate this shit. This shit fake. But whether it's fake or not, I don't know 100% for sure. But what I do know is it's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's entertainment to me. It's entertaining to y'all. Y'all watch it. Y'all come over here and watch it. We, we, we rock with it straight up. And then that Abner nigga is a character. That's... <laughs> anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. And another thing, y'all... Should I say that on this channel or on my main channel? I, don't need... <coughs> <coughs> I got three other channels. Whatever I was about to say now, I'm going to say over there. Go subscribe to my other channel if y'all rock with me. If y'all just here for the 60 Days In reaction, then just stay right here. Because you don't want no fake views. I'm just watching this because I support goes. I don't even like these type of videos. Don't do that shit. Watch it if you really like it. Don't fake fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway... This um 60 days. Why every time I say 60, I can say a fine when it's by itself. 60. 60. But soon as something come in after it, I'll be like 60 days in. 60. 60 days in. Six zero days in. The inmate version. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hey, I miss y'all. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm trying to get as many as I can so I can get them off the floor. Whoever you on the phone with, let me bust this down to y'all. Let me take this back one time. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. I miss y'all. You see how he got his shirt over the phone? Two reasons. One of the reasons, he know the camera's just looking at him, so he don't want nobody to lip his shit. Like, what does he say? The camera's just looking at lip, whatever I'm saying, whatever, yada, yada. Two reasons a lot of inmates do that. Because niggas up in there be dirty, bro. You be having smokers straight off the street, arrested, in jail, and maybe all on the phone, slobbering all on the You know what I'm saying? We, that's why he doing that. And listen to what he say now. It's crazy, man. I done, I done got a shank. I done got a shank. I'm trying to get as many as I can so I can get them off the floor. They real. <laughs> Like they for real, for real. They real metal with a point. A real point. That's gonna I'll push through. Another thing right here. If you up in a pen or you up in a county jail like this and you got you a shank, evidently you've been there before. So if you've been there before, you know for a fact, for a million fact, while you on the phone, the phone calls is being recorded. They're listening to your phone calls, bro. He's saying that shit so he can get caught up. He telling his, uh, uh, whoever is that his girl, his mom, whoever on the other line, like, I got a shank to make it seem like he that nigga up in jail to make it seem like he holding himself down. But he watching himself on purpose and he know it, bro. This whole little phone thing is just stupid on him. Yeah. Cheers. Versace and Willie walking around they got off right fussing, there. cussing, acting a fool type deal. In the streets, that's cool to walk away like that. Oh, God. Nigga ain't worth your time. You probably on your way to pick up your kids. Probably on your way to work. He doing all this. Don't worry about it. Up in jail, you cannot walk away like that, bro. I tell y'all that shit all the time. I don't even care if you get your ass beat. Like, ran to the ground, bro. Don't let nobody talk to you any kind of way. Because then, now the whole jail, like, oh, yeah. 
That nigga Ghost right there, he turned down that fade. He's a monster. Go around Ghost, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he just got some commissary. He got honey muns and all that shit. Ghost ain't gonna squab you, bro. <laughs> he, he, he turned down a fade earlier, so y'all just go take his honey bun. If you want something to eat, just go to that nigga coming. You know what I'm saying? That's how they gonna do you. Don't turn down nothing. I don't even care if this thing is, it's, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> Mike Tyson in his prime. Guess what? What they will say is, damn, Ghost got his ass beat, but he took off on my, I'm a fire, fuck, I'm, 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 I'm getting off first. <laughs> Swear to God, nigga, I would be the sock the shit out of that nigga. That's how I gotta be. Willie man cool with everybody. So, I'm just thinking they joking. I'm thinking Willie Man, like, just joking Former around. college quarterback. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Your CEOs are so scary. You see that police officer standing right there with his hands in his pocket. Look at him. The police right there with his hands in his pocket the whole time. The CEO. Look at him. You got the inmate playing doing the CO job, which is getting in between both of the inmates so they won't fight. He just still right there with his hands in his pocket. Buster. <laughs> Buster. That's why I'm gonna respect him, nigga. Right. I'm trying to jump in and say, listen, you need to stop. I don't want shit to do with nothing y'all got going on. I hid the shank in my room. So <laughs> you need to shake down. That's a major problem. Why is the CEO still right there with his hands in his pocket? And what gel is this? Because, never mind. Every, never mind. We're going to talk about that on the next one. They're not stopping. The CEO not doing anything about it. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. Don't even flinch. He's a buster. If he's not fired after this episode, bro, this is how it is up in jail. When you see a conflict, and you see two fools arguing back and forth, or you see two gangs arguing, you kill it before it escalates. The CEO letting them argue, letting it build up, build up, build up, so it can escalate. And another thing about jail that y'all don't know, even though it be a grip of CEOs, y'all see them all in the lunchroom laughing together and all this type shit, it probably be like one CEO to every 20 or 30 inmates, too. That's a, that could be another intimidation factor. If I jump in here, then they probably gonna poke me up. Well, then you shouldn't have a job, bitch. Straight up. Because all this picking up the trash can up here saying, I'm a warrior. Yelling across the uh, uh, across the day room and shit. Like, nigga, what y'all niggas is on Willie man, that, that, go pick up the He should have been stopped that. Getting ready to go like hit him. And then he flinching. What is this? But he put it back. So I'm thinking is is over. Let me tell y'all how a lot of niggas look at this. We already know old boy in the white. He's scared of whatever conflict that's gonna happen. But how everybody else looking up in the pen too, I mean up in the jail too, is the fool that got the trash can. He up there being loud all across the room. I'm a warrior, I'm this. You picking up the trash can. You chasing him down with the trash can. You talking all this shit, telling him you'll beat him up. Just to get in front of him and flinch and you ain't really do nothing. Now the real ones up in there looking at you like a buster, bro. Now niggas are running him. I'm being real with y'all. That's how shit work. That's all you did was talk. You picked up the trash can and put it down. If you mad, you'll get off, bro. Then he said, I'm going to kill you. I look oh, he ate him with him. And then he run it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all know just what happened. And I just deleted that last scene because this is YouTube. And they be tripping. You 
ran, hit him in with a. How you gonna hit somebody with a mop with the weapon? Then you run. I told you. I know them type. I know them type. That's. Oh, so you a snitch? <laughs> you doing all that talking? Now I be telling these officers, man, they don't believe me. They be having it. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. You did all that. Sh <laughs> you a snitch. You was doing all that yelling around the day room. And you been telling that they got me. Bro, you got here with a burner. You up in jail. What do you expect? You just told this fool. Literally, 20 seconds before you hit him with a knife. I'll go ahead and murk you, fucker. You can't say that you're in jail, bro. Of course, they just got bangers up in. <laughs> I be telling these officers, they don't believe me. They be having knives. And you had a broom and you had a trash can, bro. Fair ain't fair when you in jail. Remember the, I, this type of nigga, man. Go ahead and tell. He told. Now you a snitch. That stabbing could have been prevented 110%. That's exactly what I said. You spray him. But before you even act, you should have been on the radio calling back up for his safety. Exactly. And everyone else's safety. If that CEO not fired after this, bro, and I said it before, if that CEO not fired after this, that's 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 what they think about us, us in the system, straight up. That's all I'm gonna say. If he not like fired, that's what they think about. A couple us. times, boom, 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 and to me, it looked like he walks to the shower, flushed the shake in the toilet. Next thing you know, you see Versace upstairs. Why y'all telling so much? Back what is in the this? Cell, blood on him and everything. Snitching days in. <laughs> These things. Man, just damn near kill somebody. What the hell? Yeah, football player. And as far as I can see for myself, College when I went in, he was never handcuffed. Eventually, they end up coming to get him. You see him walking down the stairs. That's because y'all telling on camera. Versace did get removed from the pod. Seeing a guy get stabbed two feet from my face, it was a humbling experience. Very humbling. Very humbling. You need scared. That could have been me. <laughs> oh. I'm used to. It's not a show. This is not something like, you know, you want to sign up for to be, you know, to be on TV for or anything like that. This but you know, you on TV, and I don't know if he's a volunteer or for real, but he's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Y'all got the Heisman Trophy winner up in this <laughs> shit. The locker room in the jail. Anyway. I know I rock with y'all, and I love y'all, and I respect y'all, and we all, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Like the video. I'm out of here, man. DJ Ghost 100.